Hello, welcome to Anson Griffiths Occasional Series of YouTube Tutorials. Today we will be looking at an image classification method called Bag of Words. I won't be going into Bag of Words in detail because that's not really the purpose, just to get it to use it in MATLAB and also the code used here is from the MATLAB example. So just to give IP credit where it's due. So just if you're completely new to this, just where the mouse is here, uh, if you look up YouTube, uh, and if you put in UCF, that's University of Central Florida, Mubarak Shah, you'll get a very good lecture on bag of words. And also the notes are available there, his set of notes that is. And then later on, you'll hear a reference to support vector machine and Dr. Shah will also give a lecture, a YouTube uh, lecture there. All this is available from the UCF site. Okay, so we're just going to go through this. So we clear the workspace, we close all the figures, etc. And we're going to download the data set from Caltech. So this is a demo of different types of images. So the ones we'll be looking at later on is airplane let me just zoom down here and um, there's airplane ferry and laptop there's when you download the whole data set there there's tons of different categories so that may take a while so you run that and you just sort it and just when we are here if you've downloaded it once it just checks not to download it again so there's a command there which I hadn't heard before of untar. So because the, the thing is um, zipped on its way down, I didn't know there was a, a MATLAB command untar. Anyway. So we set the root folder. There's the 101 object categories. And then we're going to pick out these three, the airplanes, the ferries, and the laptops. There's 800 airplanes. Sorry, I'm just skipping it just there in gray. There's 800 airplanes, there's 67 ferries, and there's 81 laptops. And where we are here in that bit of code there, we're partitioning it into the minimum data size, which is 67, and you're randomizing it. So you know from any sort of statistics, you've got to randomize your data in case there's some sort of local influence going on. So there's 67 of each, and then you take 30% of that uh, into your training data and the other 70 is going to be for your validation so there you are you've we've read in your training sets and we just saw one or two a uh, sample of each next thing up is you create the bag of words so you're looking at a feature that's um, typical in each of all of them now in the matlab the inbuilt one is surf that's speeded up by bus features but you could use sift or you could use harris or some other ones but matlab just uses surf because you know, i presume it'd be the quickest and probably of the three that i mentioned the most reliable i presume you would use mser maximum stable external regions but anyway matlab went with surf so it extracted um, the strongest features there so there's 76,000 there's 75,000 and there's 98,000 and you're going to get 80% of the strongest so you can, obviously you're going to dump the weakest so we do there and then we're going to create a k-means cluster so if you now again there's no detail given here about k-means clustering I've done one or two other YouTube videos myself but we're just going to assume that you know what that is. So you've clustered all around. So that would be unsupervised uh, classification. And there's the histogram of the virtual word. So. We are now going into the training process uh, just there training transfer sets using the bag and now you just want to see 
how we performed by using the evaluate command there. Now on the training set, ideally on this confusion matrix, you get one, one, one or a hundred percent down the mid diagonal, but we got a five percent uh, there. And just when I ran this a couple of minutes before, that was 85 and that was 15. Now, remember they change because you're randomizing the data set. So it's not always going to be 95 and five, I got 85 and 15. So we got an overall accuracy of 98%. Then here we're going to take the validation set, that's the 70% that's left over by running these commands there. And there we get uh, this time an overall of 91. So 11% of airplanes were uh, ferries and 11% of airplanes were laptops, etc. Okay, so again, ideally you'd want one 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 or a hundred percent down that leading diagonal now so we have that data set now you're going to try it on new images and we're just going to uh, take uh, we're going to pick image 69 and we decide our math lab decides that that's an airplane a bit brief and I was going to use the word glib, I, that's a, a bit harsh, but a bit brief. But I hope it just gives you a vague idea of how to do a bag of words. Thanks very much for listening. Bye.